Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a love reading for you and your person. So whatever that means to you, situation trip, relationship, bumble date, marriage. And this is a general reading, so just bear that in mind, boo boo. Uh, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have a lot of Libra in your chart. Also Libra, welcome to my channel, Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new, welcome, and if you're not so new, uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks for subscribing. I really appreciate you. I see you. I love you. And obviously, if you vibe with my videos, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification button, Libra. If you would like to get a private reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. So let's get into your reading. I'll also be doing a live, by the way, but if you want to hear about free readings and how to win a free reading and how to get a free reading uh, during the live, uh, stick around till the end of the video. Oh, already. <laughs> wow. Sorry. It's High Priestess and Magician. The High Priestess, she has been haunting the readings today. I feel like partially it is a, uh, a message that's coming through me and for me regarding just... I guess, I don't know, tarot, tarot on the internet or something like that. Uh, but I feel like for you and your connection here, um, it's saying there's something really magical. And there's a lot of uncertainty here, but you have the uh, six of pentacles at the bottom of this. So uh, there's a lot of uncertainty here for you at the moment. But I feel like it's going to be okay. Whoever, like, you know, this is a you versus them reading. So there could be, you know, a lot of uncertainty. It could be... You could be in separation. Usually that's where, you know, these readings come from. Like, that's the space where they come from. So let's see. Please show me angels. What's happening for Libra and person in the recent past? I feel like if you're in separation, this is saying this person's already manifesting you back in. Yeah, there's like a definite end. This is not separation. This is a breakup. Illusions, uncertainties, seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is a big, epic, great, beautiful love, uh, lovers. Um, but there was a lack of cooperation here with the three of pentacles. There is a lack of cooperation. Your person wasn't either wasn't working on the relationship. Let me clarify this. Your person either uh, wasn't working on the relationship. They weren't giving them their all or they just weren't like all in. Or quite possibly they were uh, just... Focusing on work, they didn't see you. Like, they just didn't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate you. Yeah. Take it as it resonates. The sun. Yeah, they didn't appreciate you. They were focusing on other things. They didn't, uh, they just didn't feel like they needed to put in the work into the connection. You know, it could be a uh, bimbo, himbo, anyone in between from Tinder, or it could be a 10 year old marriage, you know, whatever resonates for you. But it was just someone who wasn't putting in the work. And, um, and this ended for that reason. I feel like this person moved away from this connection when you called them out on this and you told them you, you want this person to work on things more. Like when you saw your own value uh, and they were like, no, I'm not into that. This person doesn't like uh, any kind of confrontation and this person also doesn't like uh, when other people see their faults. Hmm. Bit of a weak energy here from your person. Let's see, Libra. Please show me angels. Please show me angels, uh, Libra, and the person, feelings, wants, and next action. Yeah. This person just doesn't take criticism very well, I'll tell you that. Oh, wowzers. Okay, yeah, this person, oh my god, you're coming up as the sun twice. You're coming up as the sun twice. There's a lot of beautiful energy here. This person does not take criticism very well. They didn't realize that they were uh, making you feel like you were uh, not, like, you know, not respected or that you weren't given enough reverence or attention, you know, whatever it was. Just felt like this person wasn't treating you. Like you were like you were a priority and this person didn't like the criticism and they also felt this person also felt for some reason like you had other options and they didn't like this person doesn't like any kind of competition any kind of criticism low self-esteem inside could be like putting up a front outside but inside low self-esteem they left the connection because it was too much hard work uh the empress here uh tells me 
this person still has like not only do they still have feelings for you but the this person is like head over heels with you they see nothing but you you're like and you know empress emperor anyone in between describe the gender it's arbitrary it's only energy but this empress like this person this is the love they have for you like the highest most deepest creative kind of love you're like a life-giving force to them you know nine of cups you also still love this person you still see them as someone who can fulfill you who fulfills your heart makes you feel whole inside oh what this person wants most at the moment um you got the page of swords and the lovers two cards came out at the same time so i just took them both uh this person wants to know what the heck is going on between you two right now and with the lovers here that's like the lovers twice baby -boo. This person wants to know if it's really over, like if they can come back in, if they can like make it happen again. And take it as it resonates, it's a general reading. Maybe you left the connection, but I do see this person more like leaving the connection, but uh, you know your story best. Uh, with this page of story tear, you know, this person wants to know this can still work. That's what they want the most. They want to know if they can approach because they want to they wanna reconcile with you. Three of Wands, uh, for you, uh, you're like, huh, yeah, you're more like what you want is for this person to like see the error of their ways and to recognize you in your true power, you know, uh, recognize you in your true power. And this person definitely has recognized this, has seen this and, uh, has understood that you deserve a lot more than they were giving you. With this Wheel of Fortune here, this person is going to come in on the Wheel of Fortune. The, the, swing, the Wheel of Fortune is going to swing, and this person is going to come back in uh, in the next, uh, I don't know, but it's going to be hours, days, or weeks. It's not going to be months or years, and this person is going to come in on this Wheel of Fortune. Changed. Like, they have actually changed. They've changed their perspective. They've understood their uh, the, the error of their ways, and they want to fix this. And with the sun here, you're going to definitely get this consideration. You have the sun twice. You know, you wanted to be respected. You wanted to be seen. You wanted to be at the center of this person's attention. They did not make you the center of their attention. They did not, um, you know, give you enough enough time, enough effort. They didn't put, uh, they didn't shine a light on the relationship either. You know, they, they wouldn't let it grow. It couldn't grow. Plants can't grow without the sun. So uh, I feel like you're going to shine like the sun again and you're going to finally feel recognized. And when you do, then you'll give this person another chance. <laughs> wow, this is such a beautiful reading. This Knight of Cups here tells me at the bottom of the deck, this person is definitely coming in with a message of love. Uh, in the next hour, day, or week, Queen of Cups, a lot of love to give, and King of Pentacles, stability. So it's like feelings and stability this time. It's not going to be like last time when this person didn't appreciate you. I don't know what happened with this person, but I'm getting like a lot of these like insecure vibes, like deep inside insecurity kind of situation. Uh, Libra, and this person just effed up. Like basically, they just effed up. They didn't mean to. Let's get a, an Oracle Angel card for you. But this person, like, they're ready to change their ways. Because uh, this separation, this breakup made them realize just how much they love you. And definitely their feelings for you are coming up as much stronger. Even, you know, if you feel something for this person, multiply it by 100. Because that's how this person feels towards you. Like, no jokes. Yeah, really. Oh, release your ex. Why? Well, it says here, time has come to clean your energy. So I feel like, yeah, like, you should probably release your ex, which you have done. Uh, so that you can start with this person thinking of them as a new person. You should probably, you know, if you reconcile, you should probably see this as a new beginning rather than, you know, a continuation of the same old problem. So if you're, if you're going to forgive, if you're going to work on it, just forgive. Um, don't forget, but forgive. Uh, soulmate at the bottom of the Oracle deck. So yeah, this is a connection you can definitely uh, allow yourself to fight for. Um, Libra, let's see what the uh, long-term potential here might be another duck please show me angels <laughs> the long-term potential it's just i mean i didn't even ask the question they were like okay like you already know okay six uh, six of pentacles amazing long-term potential um a lot of generosity of spirit a lot of giving a lot of taking care of each other stability you'll be building a home like you know maybe you're already married maybe you're thinking of getting married like you know uh engagement whatever marriage means to you you know like white picket fence situation it could be anything but you will be uh you could be collaborating and work together you, you might end up working together you already work together or you have a business some kind of a business together but it could be like a power couple situation there's so much potential here uh with the six of pentacles this can definitely be worked out and fixed whatever whatever happened here it can be worked out and fixed and this person is definitely coming in um 
with a message of love, with a message of being changed. So they want your forgiveness. So it's up to you, boo-boo. It's up to you, Libra. This is a very straightforward, clean reading. Uh, oh my God, look, at the bottom of the other deck, the chariot, they're coming in fast. So it maybe this person will be coming in sooner than you think and definitely like big, like big revolutions here. Two major arcana, wheel of fortune in the sun. Yeah, like things are gonna move. Things are moving for you, boo-boo. Uh, let me know in the comments below, Libra, if this resonated for you, if this, um, and if it didn't, what is your story? Tell me your story. I'm just curious to hear your stories. If you want to uh, win a free reading with me and my friend Demi Wild, the instructions are in the description box below. All you need to do is go to his channel, subscribe to his channel, and comment on one of his videos uh, and just say Blue Angel or Blue Angel of Tarot, and we'll know you want to be entered into the draw, boo-boo. Um, Demi is a friend of the channel. We'll be doing some uh, tarot collabs in the future, and this is just a way for us to all get to know each other uh, better, and you will get a free reading. Um, one of you will be uh, selected to, uh, by chance, <laughs> will be selected to get a free reading with me or with Demi Bidu. Uh So uh, yeah, Libra, thanks again for spending your time with me. Uh, I love you, I appreciate you. Take care of yourself, I'll see you next time, and may the angels protect you.